Welcome to the Lee Etzler Show, a weekly wrap-up and analysis of Cherubusco High School football. Daddy, Don Hyatt. Hi, I'm Don Hyatt, and welcome to the Show. Today we're going to talk with the coach about the victory over the West Noble Chargers and the upcoming game with Culver Military. We'll also be joined by Josh Fever. Stick with us, we'll be right back after this. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime, and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Cherubusco News. Uh, welcome back. We're here with Coach Etzler. Uh, Coach, uh, 6-2, winner West Noble. Uh, you guys come right out and put it to him right away in the first quarter. Yeah, probably, you know, the, the game started off extremely well for us and, and wouldn't have predicted a, a, a score like that uh, before the game. We're fortunate enough to jump on them early and, and probably uh, got them off balance uh, real early. Uh, you know, West Nova was a team that, that had been progressively getting better over the last few years and, and, and even in the season had progressively gotten better uh, throughout the season. Uh, played uh, some, some very good teams real tough and were concerned about uh, what they had coming into the game. Uh, you know, a good handful of multi-year starters and, and they had some size and, and some, some skill. So, we were concerned about about the about the game, uh, and especially how our kids would uh, approach it. Uh, we had a very good week of practice, probably our most uh, physical week of practice that we've had in a long time. Uh, so we were happy to see that, and, and it kind of carried over into the game. Uh, our guys uh, played played very hard, and like I said, jumped on them early. Probably had them off balance, and you know if we played ten times, the score would not. Uh, you know, be as lopsided as that, but we were fortunate enough to, to get her done Friday night. Uh, you had a whale of a game with your uh, your return teams, uh, punt return, kickoff return. Pretty pretty pleased with that. Uh, we've struggled. Uh, we struggled in those areas at different times in recent years, and uh, you know the, the punt return team would be good for us one year, and then we wouldn't get anything going on at the next year. And uh, kickoff return has been. Uh, has been relatively poor the last few years. Well, uh, you know, got got some pretty good punt returns this year. Uh, you know, Coach Wright uh, is the point man on, on special teams for us and, and put in the kickoff return and, uh, you know, had some big kickoff returns this year. And I think with last Friday, two return for touchdowns on the year. So we're happy with those things. And, uh, you know, we found ourselves, and a lot of this was because of, you know, some decent special teams play, but found ourselves with, uh, you know, holding on to the football relatively a, a small amount of time on offense, uh, which is usually not the best practice, but when you're, you know, returning punts and returning kickoffs and interceptions and things like that, then you, you a lot of times don't get the opportunity to hold the ball on offense. So uh, we're pleased with those units, and especially because different times we struggle with them. Defense. Uh like you said, made a couple of real good stops there in the in the second quarter, and they were on the field for pretty much the whole second quarter. Yeah, uh, played hard, and, and they had 
you know, there, there are some things that we're not happy with. Uh, we're are pleased with the fact that we felt we played hard the whole game. Uh, you know, defensive line did not have a great game. Uh, you know, I think especially when games get out of reach uh, like they did and having some games early in the season, we've gotten ourselves into some bad habits that we need to correct. And, uh, you know, we're not doing exactly what we need to do uh, in certain positions. And, uh, you know, we have, we get a little bit lackadaisical uh, uh, with some of the penalties. Uh, we're not watching the ball up front and the offsides penalties that, that are given first downs and, you know, don't seem sometimes like a big deal when, uh, when the game is uh, in control, uh, the worry is uh, you do those types of things when, when you know, that lead into a, a loss. Uh, so we need to get some of those things corrected and are, are a little bit concerned we're in some bad habits, but uh, the effort uh, was definitely there. Uh, Coach, when we come back, uh, we'll be joined by Josh Fever. Uh, a few words about Josh. Uh, Extremely important uh, component to our football team. Uh, you know, I remember, I remember Josh coming in as you know we start working with our, our kids in the weight room uh, after their eighth grade year of football, and you know we knew of Josh the Fever, of course, and he comes in, and uh, I was extremely impressed by the the work ethic he had back then. You could tell uh, he was extremely motivated uh, to play football at Cherubusco High School, and. Uh, and worked real hard right off the bat. Uh, a lot of kids when they come in at a young age don't, don't really understand what it takes uh, and, and he, uh, he wanted to play and you could, you could tell that. I remember his uh, first uh, varsity football play, I think first game of the year, didn't, wasn't on any special teams, wasn't on offense, and didn't rotate in on offense and defense, but we put him in on kickoff return, uh, you know, a few, few kicks into the game and he runs downfield, and, and I was interested to see how he was going to respond. And as a freshman, he uh, he s smacked an older kid uh, right off the bat. So when I was a freshman, I would have been extremely intimidated and wouldn't have done the same thing. But he was just ready to play. So and it is is just build upon build upon from there. Uh, he's worked extremely hard in his four years. Uh, uh, you know, can't say enough about him. Uh, he's been as good of a football player as we've had here in my time. So, uh, wonderful career so far, and, and hopefully we can we can do a few more things here before it's all said and done. Stick around. We'll be right back with Cherubusco standout Josh the Fever. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We're here with Josh the Fever. Uh, Josh, welcome to the show. Yep, thanks for having me. Uh, Josh, uh, you had a heck of a game Friday night. Uh, you scored just about every way possible. You picked one off, ran one in. You, you threw a pass for a touchdown, rushed for one, and interception. It was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, the linemen definitely blocked really well, and then even on special teams, they set up some good blocks for my uh, kick return. And then the uh, first uh, play, the passing play, uh, was probably the most exciting play, I thought. That was a great start to the game. The onside kicked, and first play, you had the halfback pass, and uh, the pass to Nicodemus, he was wide open on that play. Oh, yeah. Um, Everyone was really pumped up, start, start of the game, the onside kick, and then uh, that just, I think that 
uh, really deteriorated uh, less noble. Um, also, you had the, uh, the the kickoff return. In the third quarter, you scored uh, three touchdowns. You had a rushing touchdown. Uh, you ran back kickoff 90 yards and an interception there from 40 yards out. Yeah. Uh, interception, I probably shouldn't have even been in that spot. I should have been rushing the quarterback, but I was just reading his eyes, and luckily I was in the right spot at the right time. You lead a lot by example. You got a lot of uh, rushing yards, receiving yards. Uh, you threw a touchdown pass uh, last Friday night. And you also run a little bit of Wildcat, too, out of that offense. Uh, what do you like best about the offense? Um, it's really diverse. Uh, there's a lot of different, uh, either you're blocking or I could be going out for a pass, running the ball. And like you said, the Wildcat, kind of. And even throwing it. So, I mean, it's uh, a lot of fun. Um, how do you feel the uh, coaching staffs prepared you for the season, and what do you, how, what do you feel about the coaches in general? Uh, great coaching staff, always prepared. Um, they're always motivating you. They know how to motivate you, and uh, I mean, every week they have a great game plan for each each team, and always uh, give us the knowledge we need to know for the game up ahead. I'd like to thank Josh for stopping by and talking with us today. We wish him well for the rest of the season. We'll be right back to talk to Coach Esser about the upcoming game with Kelvin Military. I'm Josh the Fever, and you're watching The Lee Esser Show. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Uh, welcome back. We're here with Coach talking about the uh, Culver game this Friday night. Uh, Coach, uh, what do you know about the Culver? Well, uh, you know, record-wise, they're they're two and four. Uh, that can be extremely deceiving. Uh, and we we talked to the kids about this today. Uh, strength of schedule. You can get on a website where uh, it calculates the strength strength of schedule of different teams while uh, our strength of schedule is ranked uh, 304th out of uh, 315 teams so uh, we have better competition to play they're two and four uh, however their strength of schedule is, is ranked 68 out of 315 uh, they uh, you know it was interesting playing them last year great experience uh, going to their place and, and playing on parents day and I remember at the time being uh, surprised at how fast they were. Uh, you know, you see on film, and I, I guess it's not real often where, uh, you know, the, the game day appears to be a little different than what the, what the film looks, but remember, knew they were pretty quick, but uh, was surprised at how well they got to the football and defense, and, uh, you know, was fortunate enough to win last year, uh, thought that they would be a better football team this year, and uh, looking at the film, uh, appears to be correct. Uh, they've played some very good teams, very, very tough. Uh, like I said, they get to the football extremely well. They have size, uh, they have skill. We, we uh, have not seen a team uh, with, a, with a number of skilled kids, uh, good skilled kids that they, they have. 
uh, and, and we're going we're gonna to struggle uh, more than what we have to move the ball on offense. So we're going to have to battle for four quarters, and we understand that. How do we respond? Uh, you know, if we're punting the ball a few times, if we're not, uh, you know, chewing up yardage it, it, to the extent that we have in the first six games, uh, how are we going to respond to, uh, you know, potentially uh, giving up some first downs and some scores and, and being down and things like that. So uh, it's going to be a football game. And, you know, when we were scheduling it a couple years ago, uh, we were interested in, in, in scheduling uh, Culver Academy because we felt that they would make us a better football team. Now, I don't know if we're going to win Friday night, but regardless, I think uh, we'll come away with some things we can build upon for the future. So, uh, you know, it'll, it'll, be a, it'll be a good football game. I'd like to thank Coach for taking the time and talking to us today. And you can watch the show every Thursday night on BoscoNews.com. I'm Don Hyatt. We'll see you next week. This has been the Lee Etzler Show. Brought to you every Thursday night at 7.30 by BuscoNews.com.